Today on the Breakdown Series, we're going to be breaking down the 24-0 undefeated bantamweight boxer in Nyoya, the monster in no way. In a way, is a phenomenally technical fighter, and I feel like it would be an injustice to not break down his style on this channel at least once. So we're going to move into the first chapter, which is going to focus on the lead hand. Most importantly, the lead left hook, but we're going to break it down into head work and shots up top, and then body work, and then combinations following that. So the first chapter is lethal lead. The monster is very reliant on the lead left hook. There his opponent goes with a double jab to the body. He parries the first jab with the rear right hand considering he's an orthodox fighter. Then he feints the rear right hand and is able to land that left hook. Now in a way can land a left hook moving forward or land a left hook moving backwards on a counter or circle off with it. Here against an opponent he's going to jab to the body, double jab up top to the head off an initial feint and then he's going to walk the opponent down and use the left hook as a check left hook to briefly move over to his lead side. Inoue is also a big fan of slipping or pull counters. You see there he slips the jab of the equal stance fighter and is able to come over the top with the rear right hand. And then he's going to move forward and you'll see him use that high guard to throw a jab to the body, a rear uppercut, and then a left hook up top to the head. We're going to touch on this later, but you'll see off the jab and then the rear six. He throws the six at a diagonal across the body of his opponent, which allows for him to get extra torque in the hips as he turns it over with the lead left hook to the head. You'll see here Inoue is going to employ that high guard and land a left hook over the rear right hand of his opponent. And then he's going to follow it up with another lead left hook and then a right hand which allows him to exit off to his rear side. We're going to see it here again. He's got the high guard employed, lands the overhand right. The opponent tries to counter with the same side left hook and Inoue is going to circle off to the rear side which can potentially set up another right hand as we'll see later. This clip showcases the inside game of Inoue as he's able to land that rear six or at least throw it, but here we're going to see him guard the jab in the right hand and then come over the top with a counter same side left hook. Inoue is also good at using the left hook to counter inside the combinations as his opponent in the same stance threw a jab and he was able to counter inside the jab with a lead left hook. We'll see a similar sequence here with catching inside the combinations as Inoue is able to time the double jab of the opponent and sit him down with a left hook off his jab by countering on the inside. This is more an example of reactionary timing as his opponent throws a jab to the body and he's able to come over the top with a close counter left hook. Then he's going to enter with the 1-2 which backs his opponent up and then sets up the 1 to the 6 by throwing the rear 6 across the body instead of up close which aids in power off the torque of the hip. Here you'll see a similar sequence with an overhand right instead of an uppercut which allows for the torque in the hip on the turnover into the left shot to the body. You're going to see Inoue enter with a 1-2 and then follow up with a left hook. Watch the rear foot off the two as he steps over to the rear side to load up with the left hook. In stepping over to the rear side, you allow yourself to either square up your stance or briefly switch into a southpaw stance, which would maximize the power in the left hook. We're going to move on to chapter two now, which is going to touch on the body work, specifically off the left hook to the body. The monster is so effective with this shot to the body, you'll see there off the right hook, he uses it to frame off and then torque in and dig the left hook right to the liver of the opponent and then follows up with a pull counter over the jab with the right cross. Watch it here with the up jab off the rear side and then using that to torque into a hook to the body. Inoue decided to settle in there and go across the body with the hook kind of ripping out instead of digging in if it makes sense. In digging the left hook around the defensive elbow or right elbow of the opponent, it allows Inoue to attack the floating rib and then he goes up top to the head with a lead uppercut and lands a multi-shot combination with the same lead hand. Here's another similar setup from Inoue with the one to the rear gazelle punch or uppercut and then setting up to attack the floating rib with the left hook to the body. Inoue executes a good pivot and then the opponent tries to counter with their own left hook to the body as he gets off the ropes and is able to step back out of range. We'll be going back to the mechanics with Inoue throwing the rear uppercut across the body as he throws the jab to the rear uppercut and goes across the body to set up a left hook to the liver and then follows up with another rear six to a three to the body. Beautiful technique here from Inoue. Similar to the points we've touched on already, you'll see a jab to the rear uppercut or gazelle uppercut and then throwing across the body with the left hook instead of digging it up into the liver. He'll often double up the body attack, you'll see there one, two left hook to the body, then a rear uppercut to another left hook to the body which drops the opponent. Watch how Inoue is able to snap that left hook to the body right at the end to really get a maximum snap and dig into it and hurt the opponent. 
Watch the lead uppercut of Inoue here as he uses that to get off to the rear side angle which opens up a perpendicular stance to the opponent and allows for the angle to be perfect for the left shot to the body attacking the liver or the floating rib. You'll see Inoue double it up here off the jab with the 1-2 left hook to the body and left hook to the head, hoping that the opponent would drop the elbow down to anticipate another body shot and open up the chin for a beautiful left hook. Inoue will again double it up here with a right hook to a left hook to the body and another right hook to a left hook to the body, manipulating the high guard hoping that the opponent will open up the target completely for a devastating liver shot. Inoue can also attack the body with more volume, you'll see here, double jab to a right hand to a lead left uppercut to a right hand to open up the perfect angle for a beautiful digging left shot to the body, and then coming over the top with another overhand right to a left hook, which can be followed up with a rear right hand feint and another dig to the body. A similar setup is showcased here with the 1-2 left hook to the body, a left hook up top to the head, to another jab, to a rear uppercut, to a follow up left hook, and a lead uppercut which can then either be followed with a rear hand feint and a left hook to the body, or another right cross or feint to a follow up shot to the body. It's all wrapped up pretty good in this clip with a lead uppercut to a lead left hook to the body to a feint right hook in order to land another left hook to the body and get off on that angle. We've talked about Inoue's attacking of the floating rib when the opponent tries to high guard or lower their lead elbow to block a body shot, and you'll see here a perfect counter when the opponent tries to attack the floating rib as you can slip inside of that wide body shot and come right up the middle with the rear uppercut or lead depending on what side is more effective. You'll see it here as the opponent tries to enter and attack with a left hook to the body, but Inoue is able to get inside of that left hook with a shorter, cleaner rear uppercut. In touching on the multiple punch combinations with the same hand, you'll see their jab, double left hook, another left hook to the head, to the body, back to the head, a rear uppercut, and then a left hook right up top to the head again. Chapter 3 of the breakdown is going to focus on the rear hand effectiveness of Inoue, including the right cross mainly. You'll see here Inoue is going to move to his right to cut off the left exit of his opponent and then follow up with the long left hook which directs the opponent into the follow up right cross and then he exits off to the rear side angle and pivots back out. Here you're going to see a pull counter right hand from Inoue as he's going to feint the lead left shoulder roll, load up on the rear foot and then fully extend right on the chin of the opponent. Shoulder roll, bang, right on the chin, clean right hand. Watch the brief feint from the monster here which gets the opponent to extend on a jab and then Inoue is able to slip it to the inside and counter over the top dropping the opponent. Here another beautiful right cross where the feint from Inoue is going to get the opponent to expose himself and get caught with a clean right hand. The left hook blocks off the power right hand of the opponent and Inoue is able to follow up with the right cross. Inoue is then going to high guard and pressure the opponent. As the opponent lands a left hook to the body, Inoue is going to counter with another left hook to a follow up left hook to a right hand to a left hook to the body to a follow up cross that bangs the opponent right on the chin. And then here he's going to go with a jab and then follow it up with a beautiful 1-2. This leaves the opponent's back to the ropes for a follow-up 1-2-3 where the hook puts the opponent down. Inoue briefly mirrors his opponent as the opponent goes with a right hook to a left hook to the body. Inoue follows up with a right hook to a left hook to a right hook to a follow-up left hook to the body, then lowers his level to trap the opponent up against the ropes and get him to circle into another right hook to a left body shot. This combination is beautiful from Inoue, watch, left hook, left hook, right hook to the body, left hook, right cross, and the right cross aids in the hip torsion and the extension into the dig with the left hook to the body. When Inoue smells blood, it's feeding time, and he lives up to his nickname in the monster as he eats his opponent alive here. Inoue can sometimes rely on his speed and power too much and leave himself open as you saw right there where he got caught with two right hands and the second one sat him in a chair a little bit. We talked about the uppercut being a potential shot off the body shot to the floating rib but here you'll see him throw an uppercut and get countered with a left hook off a second uppercut attempt as the opponent was defensively sound and able to land the shot effectively. Here off his famous left hook to the body the opponent's able to counter with a step in jab with Inoue's chin right up in the air. And finally, the opponent here is able to step inside and manipulate the high guard of Inoue with a double jab which allows him to land an overhand right, but Inoue had his high guard up. 